If you'd like to know the basics of what mulching grass is compared to collecting the grass and how these two processes work and how the lawnmowers differ in doing so, then keep watching because over the next few minutes I'm going to explain. Okay, so first of all, we'll make a start with how the small domestic lawnmower collects grass and then we'll compare it to mulching. Rotary lawnmowers rely on a flow of air coming through the bottom of the deck right through to the grass box. This is achieved by the blade itself. As the blade turns, the lift on the edge of the blade causes air to be projected upwards towards the top of the cutting deck. When the upward projected air has been moved from this area, it creates a vacuum behind it drawing in more air. As the blade moves as fast as the engine is turning, it doing so creates a suction pressure throughout the whole of the underside of the deck. This creates a constant flow of air through. This air moving past the grass and creating that suction pressure puts a lift on the blades of grass, making them point upwards towards the blade. The blade then comes along and cleanly and evenly chops through the well placed blades of grass. And the pieces chopped off get caught in the airflow through to the grass collector and so are stored there. So this system differs considerably from mulching the grass. Because to mulch the grass we need to use a blade that is structurally different. Although designed to create a lift in the grass to point it towards the blade, it hasn't got the same amount of wind power or vacuum power as does a collector blade. Instead, it's designed to create a swirling effect of the air on the underside of the deck. And the pieces of chopped grass get caught up in this airflow. This exposes them to multiple chops of the blade. And with the mulching blade's multiple cutting edges on each end of the blade, which is unlike the collecting blade that usually has one cutting edge on each end of the blade, those pieces of grass get chopped multiple times before falling to the ground as tiny pieces. These tiny pieces then degrade into the soil and re-fertilize the grass. This swirling effect under the deck also relies on there being no grass shoot for the grass to escape or that shoot being purposely plugged up. But one of the downsides of mulching is that they're not very good at cutting long grass. The grass has to be cut quite regularly for the mulching system to work optimal because long grass can clog this system. But however, if the mowing is done quite regularly, they are quite good at chopping wet grass. Now, collecting the grass is all well and good in ideal dry conditions. But when the grass has water droplets attached to it, even quite a small amount of dew, these droplets cause the chopped off pieces of grass to clump together and also stick to the underside of the mower. One of their favourite places for clumping is indeed in the chute that goes to the grass box. We've got to remember that the main purpose of the collecting blade is to create that higher level of airflow than the mulching blade so that it can get the grass into the collector. The air no longer has a clear run right through past the blades to the grass collector. The upward air pressure created by the blade now, that much higher pressure wind than what's produced by a mulching blade, is most likely to hit the top of the deck and then push back down towards the grass thus somewhat cancelling out the lifting pressure that we had before. So really, whether mulching or collecting is for you, we can conclude that mulching is better for cutting in the wet and it fertilises the soil and we don't have to go to the trouble of emptying a grass collector. Its downside is that you have to mow the grass more regularly to keep it from getting too long and clogging up the system. And of course, because it's not collecting the grass, Instead, it's dropping it down onto the top of the lawn. We don't get that clean, tidy look like we do when we're collecting the grass. But the downside for the collecting system is that it does clog up when the grass is wet and we have to keep emptying the grass collector. But there's far more to mulching and collecting and lawnmowers in general than what I've mentioned here. This is just some of the basics. And if you like that video, then you might like this one. And if you haven't done so already, Please subscribe and I'll be back soon. Thank you for watching.